Malaria is indeed a leading cause of death among children and pregnant women. Each year, 16 out of every 100 children in Africa and 10,000 pregnant women die due to malaria infection. They could end up with abortions. And if an abortion does not occur, then you may actually end up with and in try to end fetal death. The World Health Organization recommends the use of long-lasting insecticide-treated mosquito nets, access to effective anti-malarial treatment, especially among pregnant women and children below five years, and strengthening health infrastructure. But only a few, Malawi, Rwanda, Tanzania, Eritrea, Zambia, and four other African countries have made applaudable efforts to reduce malaria infections by half since last year. But while Rwanda is lauded for decreased numbers of malaria infections... Controlling malaria in low transmission intensities is not something that is very, very difficult. It's something that can be done. Whereas controlling malaria in an environment with high transmission, in terms of the number of people who do fall sick, Uganda being an example, is quite complex. But while Rwanda is lauded for decreased numbers of malaria infections, it still has a high number of mothers and children below five years dying each year. 181 children out of every 1,000 born in Rwanda die while 383 mothers die during or after birth. A similar story goes for Malawi, Zambia and Tanzania. Now under the African Leaders Malaria Alliance, 28 African presidents have agreed on action points to end this tale of doom. They plan to implement the World Health Organization's recommendations on malaria and importantly eliminate taxes on malaria preventive commodities like insecticide treated nets and more. As I said, if there is enough funding and this funding is sustained over time, we can achieve these goals. Very little is said about the actual cause of death, which is severe malaria. Uh, workforce development issues, having a committed and motivated health workforce. So there are a couple of other health systems issues that ALMA should be addressing. The AU summit may be over now, but according to experts, 2,000 women and 37,000 children died during the three days duration of the meeting. Leah Bwanika, NTV, tonight. Yeah.